Despite the lack uh, of hair, I'm not wearing the hat because of my impending baldness. Uh, I only wear the hat because I think it looks kind of cool. So, Jack the Lodge Brother. Another book containing formerly closely guarded revelations, which were once of the utmost secrecy, is the late Stephen Knight's Jack the Ripper, The Final Solution, which documents that the infamous Ripper killings were Masonic ritual murders directed by the British government itself. Quote unquote, Jack the Ripper was Sir William Gull, physician in ordinary to Queen Victoria, assisted by a lookout, the actor and painter Walter Sickert, and a coachman, John Netley. An important point emerging from Stephen Knight's documentation is the role of the police in the Ripper conspiracy. I am not referring here to some corrupt street corner Bobby, but of the active involvement of the Queen of England, the Prime Minister of England, Lord Salisbury, whose father had been Vice Grand Master of English Freemasonry. The Commissioner of Police, Sir Charles Warren, and the Assistant Commissioner of Police, Sir Robert Anderson, among others. Again, uh, Secret Societies and Psychological Warfare by Michael A. Hoffman II. Um, <clears throat> I'd like to make a few comments. First, I want to point you to uh, Ella's videos uh, on torture that she uh, just put out, uh, uh, number one and number two. Uh, I can't uh, elucidate any better than what she has done in her videos regarding the idea of torture and uh, the ramifications thereof. So uh, see the link in the sidebar and check out her videos, 55 Ella, 2007K. So uh, check out her videos on torture and you'll, you'll see a, a very well developed uh, thesis uh, in that regard. And uh, as I posted in comments to her, the idea of torture in any capacity that is condoned by anyone for any reason can very easily be translated into a uh, uh, condoning of that very same action by not only our enemies, which some people would uh, you know, uh, very easily uh, recognize as a possibility, but also by our own fucking government towards us, individual people in this country. Because the very same questions that people are asking, such as, well, wouldn't you support torturing someone if your wife or your girlfriend or your boyfriend or your mother or your father or your child was in imminent danger of losing their lives? And that is really a fallacy type argument to bring up in the first place. Because none of these things that we have tortured people for has involved anything imminent. Okay? There wasn't a sword of Damocles hanging over somebody's head. I'm not even convinced that there's been any fucking terrorist action that has been stopped or thwarted by any information received from anybody that we have in custody that we used any measure of torture on. All we have to go on is the word of the fucking government. And I don't know about you, but I do not fucking believe them. Until I see solid proof that there has been one fucking terrorist action thwarted by the use of torture or enhanced interrogation techniques, I'm not going to believe that it did anything at all. And even if I do see that proof, I'm not going to fucking condone it. Because all you're doing is you're inviting that same thing here because the very same question that you ask and I'm talking about conservatives who want to, to support so-called uh, conservatives. Same right-left dialectic paradigm bullshit, okay? No right-left. It's all being manipulated from one central location. But... 
the way this is being foisted upon us, here you have people on the right are saying, oh, well, if it's your mother, sister, daughter, husband, wife, whatever, wouldn't you, you know, use torture to get that information to save their life? It's a, it's a, it's a false argument for the terrorist thing, okay? But translate that over. Translate that same question over if the police were to bring in a suspect who is accused of having murdered your wife, sister, daughter, brother, mother, whatever, okay? They don't have the body, but they think this suspect did it. Now, ask yourself that question. Would you torture that suspect in order to find out where the body was and what he did to it? It's very easy, very easy to have this applied in that case. And if you think that is any kind of a jump, you're not being intellectually honest. And if you support the one, you have to support the other. And what you're doing by doing that is you're saying that the constitutional protections that we have as citizens of this country don't mean shit to you. Period. End of fucking discussion. So, you support torture to them. You're saying the Constitution means absolutely fucking nothing. And if you want to take that position, my friend, you go right ahead. More power to you. So, please watch Ella's videos about torture. I can't possibly uh, do them justice myself. Now, 